مرحبا كيفكم شو اخباركم chapter 11 work and energy هلا this chapter is divided into two parts رح خلي كل فيديو لبارت منه يعني ال first part رح يكون بس work لحال وال second part energy كرمال ما يطلع وقت الفيديو طويل هلا لنبلش بال first part اللي هو ال work done by a constant force قبل ما بلش بكون تنتبهوا لشغلة في condition لتكون هيدي الرول satisfied ال first one is the force is constant the second one the, rec the displacement is rectilinear يعني now a solid S is pulled by means of a force F along a rectilinear displacement D alpha is the angle between F and D the work done by F is defined by the following relation work done by F is equal to the scalar product of F and D يعني work equals to force times displacement we know that the scalar product of two vectors is equal to the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second times uh, times the cosine of the angle formed by these two vectors therefore the work done by F is equal to or equals to capital F times D times cosine alpha F represents the magnitude of the applied force in newtons D the magnitude of displacement in this case it can be considered as the distance covered and cosine alpha now uh, WF depends on three factors as we see the magnitude of the applied force times distance times cosine alpha now F and D are magnitudes they are always positive so the sine of w is determined by the sine of cosine alpha or the sine of cosine alpha determines the sine of w هلا بس بدي اعمل شوية هيك discussion على cosine alpha we know that for any acute angle smaller than 90 the cosine is positive therefore W will be positive, the work is said to be motive. For any obtuse angle between 90 and 180, the cosine is negative, therefore W negative, and the work is said to be resistive. Now, I have these three special cases bad, in the 0, 90, and 180. The first case, the force F and the distance or the displacement are collinear having the same direction. The angle between these two vectors is zero. And we know that cosine zero equals to one, therefore W will be F times D. And the cosine alpha is zero. In this case, the work is maximum. Yani akhtar shi bitlan the maximum work lama ikun il force collinear ma displacement. The second case, perpendicular forces do no work. Yani S covers a displacement D vector. In this case, N and W are perpendicular to D. The angle between D and N is 90 and cosine 90, 0. Therefore, W of N and W of W are 0 joules. Now, work done by friction. We know that friction opposes motion. Friction is drawn opposite to the displacement. The object moves from left to right. Friction is directed from right to left. F and D are collinear having opposite directions. In this case, the angle between F and D is 180 and cosine 180 equals to negative 1. Therefore, work done by F equals to negative F times D. The work done by friction على طول minus F times D. But in all the cases, you have to know that the work done by a force is the force dot displacement. Now application, a solid S is submitted to four external forces, F weight, small f, uh, N, normal weight, applied force friction. Our part calculate the work done by each force. عادي. طبق الرول. يعني مع الأربع forces لطلع الwork لكل force بضرب الforce بالdisplacement vector. أول شيء بخلص من الزيروز. Work done by weight, W dot D zero. Work done by uh, normal n dot d zero perpendicular forces do no work. Work done by capital F equals to F dot d equals F times d times cosine. Command Berjab Zakirkun F and D are collinear vectors. 
having the same direction the angle between them zero فبيطلع عندي 10 times 10 100 joules work done by friction كمان هي friction dot d يعني f times d times cosine 180 كمان برجع بعيد friction and d collinear having opposite directions the angle between them is 180 and cosine 180 equals to minus 1 تاني part deduce the network out w net هلا ليش بدي طلع على هاي لانه بدي استعملها بمطرح تاني يعني انتم مطلوب منكم كسيتويشن اول شي على object طلعوا ال work done by each force بترجعوا تطلعوا ال w net مثل العادة لطلع ال work done by each force بدي ثلاث شغلات ال magnitude of the force distance covered and the angle between the displacement and the force now هلا هودي ال 3 slides هني بس for work done by weight كلكم بتعرفوا نحنا مطلوب مننا نعرف نحل motion along a horizontal plane motion along an inclined plane و motion along in any given trajectory now an object falls from point A at a height H A to point B at a height H B مثل العادة the displacement vector A B is D يعني D vector هو displacement joining the initial and the final positions اللي هو D vector ومثل العادة نحن بنعرف weight is vertically downwards vector هلا إذا بدي طبق الرول شو بتقول work done by weight equals to الفورس اللي هو weight dot displacement D equals to W times D times cosine alpha W equals to mg هلا by using this figure alpha is the angle between W and D these two angles are equal corresponding angles by using the geometry of the figure cosine alpha equals to the adjacent side هي يعني المعلمة بالأخضر اللي هي H A minus H B divided by the hypotenuse اللي هو D therefore H A minus H B equals to D cosine alpha هلأ we replace D cosine alpha by D cosine alpha by H A minus H B therefore work done by weight equals to M G into H A minus H B فا in general هاي دي انتو فيكم تستعملوها على طول if an object goes from initial height H I to a final height H I, the work done by weight will be M G into H initial minus H final. كمان هون بدك كنت تنتبهوا مخص إذا نزل أو طالع أو H I على مخص عطول. Object goes from initial height to a final height. Work done by weight equals to M G into H initial minus H final. Now. Work done by weight along an inclined plane. Hi, the best for an inclined plane. Given an inclined plane making an alpha with respect to the horizontal level, we know that the work done by weight equals to mg into h a minus h b. هلا هاي دي أخذناها من قبل شوي. Work done by weight equals to mg into initial height minus final height. The object goes from a to b. يعني equals to mg into h a minus h b كمان هوني by using the figure these two angles are corresponding h a minus h b بتطلع h a minus h b هاي هلا هون بدي استعمل sin لانه ال h a minus h b مسائي بهوني opposite sin alpha equals to opposite اللي هي h a minus h b divided by the hypotenuse therefore h a minus h b equals to a b sin alpha Therefore, work done by weight equals to mg بدل ال h a minus h b a b sin alpha. Therefore, work done by weight equals to mg d sin alpha. هلا في لا هيدا الطريقة بمثود تاني هي مثل ما تعلمنا من قبل by projection method. We know that along an inclined plane, the weight force or weight has two components. W x perpendicular to the inclined plane. Ah, one. W x parallel to the inclined plane and W y perpendicular to the inclined plane. يعني we split W into two components. Therefore, the work done by weight will be W of W x plus W of W y. هلا. Instead of finding work done by weight, we find the work done by these two components. أول شيء مثل العادي بخلص من من الزيرو. W Y is perpendicular to the displacement. The work is zero. W X, نفس الرول, the work done by a force is equal to the force. The W X dot D equals two. 
الفورث دبليو اكس تايمز ديستانس تايمز كوساين ذا انجل بتوين دبليو اكس اند اي بي از زيرو كولينير هافينج سيم دايركشن ذيرفور ات ويل بي دبليو وي نو ذات دبليو اكس ان ماجنتيود ايكوالز تو ام جي ساين الفا ذيرفور ام جي ساين الفا دي فكم فهيدي كمان اذا بتلاحظوا يعني الورك دون باي ويت على الانكلايند بلين هي الورك دون باي دبليو اكس فهي دبليو اكس دوت دي ام جي ساين الفا هاي دبليو اكس تايمز دي كمان هون كا conclusion هون دي فيكم تستعملون دغري in case of downwards motion the weight is motive and the work done by weight equals to plus mgd sin alpha in case of upwards motion the weight is resistive and work done by weight equals negative mgd sin alpha يعني لو كان this object is moving upwards كان صار ال displacement vector ba صارت ال angle between wx and ba 180 و cos 180 minus 1 يعني وهو فيكم تستعملون دغري هو دي بس for work done by weight along an inclined plane ومطلوب منكم تعملوا هيدي الابليكيشن ويعطيكم العافيه